The way the shifting system works is that there is a cable here inside some housing that connects the rear derailleur to the shifter. So when you shift in one direction, it may pull cable, moving the chain up the cassette. Shifting the other direction releases that cable and lets your bike shift down. However, sometimes you're not going to get clean shifts, so you'll need to check the cable tension to see if it's too tight or too loose. Most of the time, your cable's too loose, and that prevents the chain from moving up. And you'll get something like this, where you're pedaling, you shift your bike, and nothing happens. Nothing happens because your shift is just pulling the cable tight first before it moves the derailleur. So what you'll want to do is first shift your bike into the smallest gear, releasing all of the cable tension. And you'll feel that it's quite loose here once you've done that. And you'll get more than five millimeters of play here as a good indication that your cable is loose. And that can often happen from a stretched cable too, which is pretty uh, common with an old cable. And you'll take your five millimeter Allen wrench, loosen the bolt that crimps your cable tight, and pull that slack tight with your hand or with a pair of pliers, not too tight. You don't really need to wrench on it. And go ahead and crimp that bolt back together. And then check your shifting to see if your work worked. So again, pedal the bike and you should get a shift. Should shift all the way up the cassette without any problems. One sh shift per movement of the shifter and back down as well. And if you'd like, you can check each, gear, each gear individually and make sure there's no noise and that each shift is crisp and quick. And you're done.